And a new season of Spring means new season of the series Blind Spotting. Earlier this week, I caught up with. Are you ready? Creator, actor, writer, producer, and director Rafael Casal to talk season two. See you in two weeks for the first family visit. Yes, you will. Because, girl, when you get here in two weeks, we are about to. Everybody can hear you on speakerphone. Hey, We've all had that moment. <laughs> this is why Blind Spotting is such a great show and resonates with audiences everywhere. And here he is blushing. You're blushing right now, Raphael. <laughs> when you watch that, you go, ooh, this isn't appropriate. Ooh, right, right. My mother is going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> This is a show that people can't get enough on. I, I went on Twitter and I saw so many fans say, counting down the days until season two of Blind Spotting. How does that make you feel? Because you're not only in the show, you're co creator, showrunner, you direct four episodes this season. I mean, what other feathers are we putting in the cap? Oh, God, I don't know. No more, please. <laughs> That's um, it. Yeah, I have great collaborators that help, and so I think the resume looks a little bit, you know, more robust than it is. There's other producers and other great directors on it. But it's fun to read those comments online and, mm -hmm. um, and see that we have, like, a loyal fan base that loves the show and is we really do. excited for it to come back. And it was such a hit at South by Southwest last month. Tell me about winning the Audience Award. Oh, it, I mean, it's just exciting when people respond to it that way. Um, when you go into a second season, your the expectations are high. In the first season, nobody knows what they're going to get, you know? Mm -hmm. And so so it's a little bit easier to manage expectations. But now they love these characters. They do. And we got to do right by them. So that was beautiful to get that award. How fun to work with so many of your friends. And you have Helen Hunt in the mix. I want to know if Helen Hunt has ever sung any Hamilton songs behind the scenes. Oh, not around me. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure everyone avoids it around David, but I'd imagine people got a lot of those David skeletons. Diggs. Yeah, David Diggs is on the show. You know, I'm Your sure he, does, he doesn't need to hear another <laughs> song. You know, Jasmine though, Jazzy Jasmine. in the show. You, so you, you're friends with with your cast. Obviously, a lot of them known for Hamilton. You bring that energy, that theater energy, where it's all a team, an ensemble. Yeah. Tell me about working together behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is exactly that, right? Like, well, so many of us come from that theater background, and so the fun of the show is that while we have these designated roles, like you said, you know, we, we have these hats that we have to wear, there's so much collaboration. And so, like, even that scene, the, the clip that we were just rolling earlier, like, there's so much improv in that scene. I love it. Because we're just having fun on set. We're like, we know what the spine of the story is, and because we can lean on our friendships, it just allows for so much play. I think that's why the show has so much levity and humor. It does. And now you're coming back for season two. So if fans are new to blind spotting I say it's such a California show yes. if you live in California if you're from California you can appreciate this the nature of the show absolutely and also you know if you're a hater on California here's another way for you to get <laughs> reacclimated to our state which is amazing right um, but yeah it's a California show it's also it's about you know trying to humanize the 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 impacts of the prison industrial complex on families. It's about a mother and a son dealing with uh, the father being sent to prison. And so this has this heavy undertone, but because we do our best to sort of honor the truth of that, it allows us to make, you know, all the jokes that we want to make. And the reality is like in tragedy, we find as humans, we find comedy to cope. And so we, we, we build the show as a comedy and built a comedy around something that millions of Americans experience. That was earlier this week. Thank you for coming by, Raphael.